Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel, guys. All right, so what we'll be doing here is we're going to be covering shape tools in Solid Cam. So custom tools, uh, radius cutters that aren't in your standard library. So first thing what we'll want to do is come up to Tools, Solid Cam, Tool Library, and come to your shape tools. And this is where you guys can build all your custom tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a radius cutter in here. So you'll see I already have a radius tools folder. I'll just add a tool into there. Now over here you'll see we have a standard uh, bunch of easy shapes that are already um, kind of somewhat drawn up for you guys. And you guys can click on those. For those of you guys that are going for a more complex, um, you know, maybe a porting tool, um, something that's not you can't build over here, you guys can click on the import button. And what this will do is it will actually open up a 2D sketch in SolidWorks. And you guys can come in here and just draw half of your tool. And what we'll do is we'll just click the Find Chain chain the outside perimeter and what it, solid cam does is it does a revolve for you to turn that tool into a 3d tool um, for our more simpler shapes here like our radius cutters is you can use our shapes over here so what i'm do is i'm going to rename this to eighth inch so we got an eighth inch radius tool and you, you start from the bottom and you work your way up so we'll we'll grab on that one right there and what we'll do is our radius is going to be eighth inch 0.125. Our top diameter is going to be 0.5. And our bottom diameter is going to be 0.25, and you see it, I can automatically fill that in for us. So now we have the bottom part of our tool built. Now we just need our shank, so we can just click on the shank, and you can, you know, add the height as high as you want here, um, you know, what you guys actually have the tool in your hands. So once you have got that done, hit OK. Now you'll see we have our part with our radius on there. So we're just going to do add a million, do a profile. We will chain our part like we normally do. Now when it comes to tool, we're going to add a new tool and we're going to call it an end mill. No matter what kind of cutter we're using, when we're anytime we're using shape tools, we always want to just call it an end mill. And the diameter and the cutting length are the only two fields that we really care about right here. Um, so the diameter is going to be the tip diameter of your radius tool, which is 0.25. Um, and our cutting length is also going to be 0.25. Now, to get our shape in there, what we want to do is come over to the Shape tab, scroll down, and you'll see our radius tool right there. And we can just click on our radius tool and put our cutting length back to 0.25. Hit select. And now you'll see we have our radius tool in there. So we'll just come to our levels. Profile depth looks good. We'll just do a save and calculate here. Get this rotated around for you guys can see. And we have our radius cutter coming in there with our perfect shape, perfect cut, and everything that you guys are looking for. So. This is how you build your shape tools in the, or how to build your custom tools in the shape tools option in SolidCam. If you guys have any other questions, definitely give us a call on the support desk, which is 866-975-1115, extension 2. And definitely hit the subscribe button for more SolidCam tips and tricks. Thanks. Have a great day.